If you are a fan of The Real Housewives, then not all diamonds and rosé needs to be next on your reading list. Today I'm talking to the book's author, Dave Quinn, to get the inside scoop on all of the Housewives drama. Dave, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. You must be on cloud nine. Yeah, it's so surreal. You know, this was a project that I worked on for so long in the midst of actually the coronavirus pandemic. It was a perfect time to do these interviews. Talked to 185 people, 500 hours of interviews. So for now to be on the other side of it, is just like wild. So what inspired you to start this? You're an entertainment reporter like me, <laughs> and we both love Bravo, but you exactly. took the deep dive and did this like extreme research project. So how did it start? Well, you know, you have uh, 15 years now of Housewives. It seemed like the perfect time to kind of celebrate the franchise where we were, and we had great conversations with Bravo about doing a project like this, but these women are so opinionated. They have so much to say. They really did not hold back. What was the most interesting conversation or surprising thing that you learned? Well, there was something that happened in the Real Housewives of New Jersey that completely shocked me. There was a moment in one of the early seasons, it happened off camera after they were finished with their vacation in the Dominican Republic, and there was a little tussle with the law that I never knew about. And it was wild because I would talk to Caroline Manzo and Teresa Judice about this, and they would say to me, I'm not supposed to talk to you about it. I mean, Melissa Gorga was like, I, I've been told that I was never allowed to talk about this. And I was like, no, now is the time. Now Say we're it. talking about it. Right, so we're here in Central Park because we are going to chat about the book in a couple housewife appropriate locations. <laughs> so why Central Park? Well, this is, you know, there's been so many real housewives of New York City moments here in Central Park. My favorite moment, of course, is between Luann and Ramona when they got into that disagreement on that park bench. And Luann was like, what other dirty tricks do you have in your yes. pinot filled act? I mean, iconic. So it just felt like the right place to be in such a beautiful fall day with you today. And so New York, so it's so perfect. New York. Your husband's in the book. Okay, Dave, so we are here at the Brass Monkey in Chelsea, actually at an iconic table. So tell me what it's all about. Yes, this is the location of one of the most memorable moments from the Real Housewives in New York City between Kelly Ben Simone and Bethany Frankel, the infamous you're down here, I'm up here moment. Uh, I am so, this is history. So I love how in the book you really tell the origin story of how this show was created and how it almost wasn't created. What would Bravo be <laughs> without this franchise? You're very judgmental. Baby, I'm only judging what you give me. Okay, so if it's okay with you, I want to do some rapid fire questions. Oh, yes, I love that. Okay, favorite housewife? Oh, God. I, I, oh my goodness. I, no the king. <laughs> Caroline Manzo. Favorite franchise? Potomac. Who was the longest conversation? Oh my goodness, the longest conversation, hands down, Carol Razowell from The Real Housewives in New York City. We spoke for a whopping 12 hours straight. Now, if you could be a producer and start a new Housewife franchise, where would it be and why? I'm a New Englander too. I went to college in Rhode Island, so let's go up to Boston. Let's do The Real okay. Housewives of Boston. Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers. To you and congratulations. I'm and so thank glad. you for putting this out there.